What is going on, people? This is your boy, Sketch, a.k.a. The Artist, coming to you live and in level color. We are taking a look at an awesome anime illustration of one of the characters from one of my greatest creators and companies of all time from the 90s. Today, we're going to be talking about the artwork and inspirations from the company Antarctic Press. Antarctic Press was one of the greatest companies of my generation. They created dynamic, unique, and powerful powerful manga series that were very very astonishingly good some of the greatest creators of my generation such as Fred Perry, Joe White, Ra Espinona, and Ben Dunn these guys were legends in their own right this is actually from a reference that I created to really showcase some of the old school art and desires and things that I grew up with especially when I was growing up in the 90s as you guys can see this has a very old school anime feel to it and that's what we're going to be focusing on, on the channel giving you guys more manga and anime content we're going to be doing more of that so you guys stay tuned if you would like to know more context on this or other series there are definitely you need links in the description to the official website also we're going to be talking about the techniques and tools that i actually use to create this magnificent work of art the first thing that i really used was something called crayola super tips a powerful uh, marker that's very dynamic and bold the only problem with this marker is it is water soluble so if water gets on your illustrations they're gone now the mid-tones that i actually used to create the color for the skin were actually done with chalk and they were smeared using one of my most primary techniques for pencils and sharp and our art which is smearing the background even though you guys can't see it was actually smeared in with using crayon the chalk. I have to say that using Crayola this style is one of the things that I love because of the distinctiveness and uniqueness and quality. Of course, it does not have the quality on par as something as Prismacolor, but it's been a utensil and tool that I've been using for over 10 years. This was also drawn on the 22 by 28 canvas board, a powerful illustration. And I did this last year. It took me anywhere from about a good 45 minutes to an hour and a half to do. We're going to dive into two more parts of this illustration and then we're going to wrap it up. As you guys can see, mixed media is something that I use regularly. Looking at the bottom of her skin and the detail in her hair, some of this was done with permanent markers and water soluble markers. Really, really did also use the super tips to design and create her hair as far as this work of art. If you guys would like to know more context on this or other series, there are definitely links in the description to the official website. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Sketch the Artist saying back on the grind. Y'all be blessed. Deuces!